All right, today we're working on the dresser for the mirror that in that previous video we did that matches this. And today I'm going to start doing that, working on it. So, first thing that needs to be done is right here the veneer is coming off and I think there's a nail sticking out right there. All right, so what I'm going to attempt to do is cut a piece of this off, score it with this knife, see if I can snap it off evenly, fix that nail sticking out there, and glue that piece down, and then wood fill any damage. All right, sorry, I had to shut you off and move you. So I'm kind of in a tight spot right here. But it worked. Scored it. Cut it, it's pretty pretty straight. And here's what is going on down here. The nail holding this trim on shot through and punctured the trim or the veneer right there and popped it off. Holy cow. I damaged it a little bit. Nothing some wood fill won't fix. I'm using Gorilla wood glue and a clamp. Alright, hopefully those clamps come off easily enough. Can you see how dirty that is? All that dust. It's like years of dust on it. Microfiber rags, we're going to wipe it all off. So, the plan is to remove these drawer, this drawer, and that drawer. So, we've got to take these off. We want to take them off before we paint this so we don't damage any of the paint while we're doing that. Nailed back there, but so we're going to take these old drawer slides, cut them down to put a support back here, glue it to the back. So when we put the piece of MDF to close off this cubby, we can glue it to this piece and to this one glued to the back there. For the back of this we're using Gorilla Glue because wood glue takes a while to dry and we can't clamp back there so we're just going to use some of this and hopefully it holds it in place. The front we're just going to put some wood glue right here. Stick this in.
Cut a back piece to cover that stuff up for the little cubby. And I'm just gonna brad nail it in. We're gonna put two coats of primer on everything, everything that's gonna be painted. We're gonna use this instead uh, because the brush just isn't working very well on all these grooves. So we're gonna take them outside and spray primer them. First coat of primer has dried. We're going to lightly sand it with 220 to smooth it out. We're going to recoat it with primer. After that dries, we're going to sand it again. Second coat of primer is on. I'll be using this to fill in these gaps right in the corners of this cubby. Now when that dries, it'll be paintable and we won't have any seams there. This thing is ready to paint. We are painting it Popular Gray from Sherwin-Williams. We're going to mix it with some Floetrol to help keep the brush strokes and roller dimples down. First coat is on. I don't know if you can see this, but we'll definitely need at least two coats. It's not fully covering. Wax, Jocko Bean, stain for all the wood. So after looking at this all somewhat together <clears throat> with the mirror behind it, we were going to paint the entire dresser to look like this to match the mirror, but we don't like the way it looks against the wood. So we're going <laughs> to we're going to repaint the mirror to match these, and I think we're going to leave these plain. We're coating all the wood pieces in Minwax Clear Satin Polycrylic. So 
I got my fourth coat of the polycrylic on there. And I forgot to mention that after each coat dries complete, completely, I go over it lightly with a 320 grit sandpaper, wipe it down, and apply the next coat. That keeps it from... It gets like rough if you don't do that. And it sands out any dust that might have gotten caught into it. I also wanted to say that when I started this, I used a foam brush for the first coat, and that was not the tool for the job. So I changed to this. We'll be using this to protect the drawers. We're going to use three to four coats. To protect the base, we're going to use Minwax Polycrylic in clear matte, and we'll probably put three, three coats on this. cubby panels in right there. I'm going to brad nail them in the front but we got nothing to attach down at the bottom at the back of it. So we're going to use a quick drying glue back there to adhere this to the back which will be Gorilla Glue. Thank you. 